Good, good morning. My name is Brian Glass. I'm Vice President of Sales and Business Development with Currency, and I would like to thank you for joining us today. Today, I'm going to share with you and provide an overview of the Currency Trade Leader Investment Program. And as an alternative investment, the Trade Leader Investment Program provides you, the client, the opportunity to participate in the world's largest market. And that market, of course, is, is foreign currency, a market that has over $4 trillion a day that is traded. The world, the way that you can participate in the Trade Leader Investment Program is by following the leader, in this case, following the currency trade leader, so that their success becomes your success. As I'll share with you today, it's really very simple. The process to get started, as you'll see, is that you simply open an account with one of the brokers that we do business with. Currency never holds your money. You maintain a one-to-one -one relationship between yourself and the broker of your choice. Then, you simply build a portfolio. You build the currency portfolio of the currency trade leaders that you would like to follow. And certainly, we'll share with you performance and risk and consistency and strategy. Very simple, very intuitive. And then lastly, every time one of the trade leaders that you've selected to follow, every time they execute a position, we will automatically mirror image and auto-execute that position in your account. I'll also share with you today the risk management controls that are available to you should you want to use them. But you have the opportunity to take as little or as much risk as you deem appropriate. We'll also go over the fee structure, uh, which is a 2% annual service fee and a 20% success fee. And that success fee, of course, is based upon the high watermark of performance. And lastly, just before we get started, I want to ensure that everybody understands the difference between the Trade Leader Investment Program and the traditional type of managed accounts that are available in the marketplace. Here, without the necessity of opening individual accounts to follow individual trade leaders, in one account, you can follow up to really all of our currency trade leaders, up to 20 plus currency trade leaders within one account. So with that, let, let's, let's get started. Uh, please be aware that foreign currency, as, as any other asset class, has a degree of risk. And certainly you should make sure that trading foreign currency is a suitable investment for you. Uh, and as you so deem appropriate, perhaps seek the investment advice of your financial professional. So I'm going to share with you now an actual de demonstration of the Currency Trade Leader Investment Program. This is one of our clients' accounts who has given us permission to share their information. Although we don't show you their name, we do show you the actual financial information in their account. On the left-hand side, you can see there are four tabs, Investment Dashboard, Portfolio Management, Portfolio Performance, and Find Leaders. Right now, we are on Investment Dashboard. In the top right-hand corner, you can see that this client has $99,865 in their account. General information, realized gain or loss, based upon closed positions, the client has realized a gain of $9,226. Now, at the same time, the, there are open positions, and based upon the open positions, there's a potential loss, and I say potential because the positions are not closed, but a drawdown of $5,452. That gives the client total gain or loss of positive 3773. As you can see, the client is following four trade leaders. Here are the trade leaders. Each trade leader has a ticker that otherwise identifies them as the manager or trade leader that you're following. This month, as we're approximately just a little bit more than mid-month, there are 97 trades that are executed in the client's account. And since they started, they have approximately 3,200 trades that have been executed to date. As we scroll down a little bit, you see detailed information about their account. Here are each of the four trade leaders that we're following. Joini Jiang. As you'll see, Joini is a professional manager in China. We've been following Joini Jiang's performance since 2009. Based upon closed positions, this client has profited $18,976 following Joini Jiang. At the same time, based upon open positions, the client has a current drawdown of $5,074.
Now, of their $99,865, please see that they've allocated $56,616. They've said, I'm going to take $56,616 and I'm going to allocate it and follow Joiny J. And in doing so, they're actually winning 89% of the time. They're winning 89% of the time. 734 total trades and following them since July 1st of 2011. You could see similarly what the performance is for each of the other three currency trade leaders. In aggregate, up 18,701. Current drawdown, 54.52. I've allocated $100,000, 477. I win 81% of the time. I have 1345 total traders. As I scroll down, this is a very simple asset allocation chart. So if you want to see visually how you're allocated, you can do so. Let's talk for a moment about portfolio management. Portfolio management gives you the opportunity to manage your account. And unlike any other type of managed product, please understand you, the client, are always in control. So without the necessity of calling currency or the necessity of calling your broker, you can make changes on demand anytime you, you, you so deem appropriate. Firstly, you have the ability to choose not to follow or continue to follow a currency trade leader. If you simply click the red X, you will, and you hit, if I were to hit confirm, I would automatically unallocate from following the trade leader. I would close every single open position. Now, this is not my account, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit cancel. As well, you see the pencil here. You have the opportunity on demand to change how much equity you have following the currency trade leader. If I were to populate this field, I can change it from as little or as much equity as, uh, as I otherwise have in the account. Here again, I'll hit cancel. Now, advanced controls. Unlike any other managed tire product, we give you six out of the box advanced controls on each and every trade lever. We also give you risk management controls on your overall account. Let me demonstrate by clicking on the pencil. First advanced risk management control is that of drawdown protection. Drawdown protection. Now, you don't have to use these advanced controls, and in fact, if you choose not to, the default on drawdown protection is 30%. And simply, what that means is if you were to lose more than 30% of your equity following an individual trade leader, we would systematically unallocate you from following that leader. We would close every single open position. Now, as the client, you can take as little or as much risk as you so deem appropriate. You can make this, if you wanted to, although we wouldn't suggest it, 5%, or you can make it 90%. You can also decision and decide, do you want to do that from the peak or the high watermark of the equity that you have from following the trade leader? Or alternatively, do you want to do it from your initial allocation? Open drawdown protection. If you wanted to, you could differentiate between closed and open positions relative to open drawdown protection. As a strategy, you may say, well, 30% drawdown on closed positions but I see this manager tends to turn his positions around. So perhaps I want to have 40 or 50 percent on open drawdown protection. You could differentiate it if you wanted to. Leverage cap. Leverage cap is the maximum leverage that you're willing to take on the trade leader. So you might see that this typical leverage is three to one. You might say, okay, but I'm not going to allow the trade leader to have more than five to one. So you can go ahead and you can decide to put a cap on that as well. Leverage multiplier. Here again, you see that the typical leverage is three to one. Now, while any professional manager would share with you that's quite conservative, you may say three to one, hmm, sounds a little risky to me. I only want to take 50% of that or 60% of that. You can take less than 100% leverage of what the manager is using. Or alternatively, you may see that the performance is stellar. And you might say, well, you know what, instead of 3 to 1, I want 200%. You would not be at 200% leverage. You would be at 200% of 3.1, or you would have 6.2% leverage. So you can take less or more depending upon your assessment of the leverage used by the manager. Available currencies. 
if there happen to be geopolitical things going on in a particular country and you deem that you do not want to execute that cross, that pair, you could opt not to. So if you don't want to trade, trade the Aussie dollar, Aussie dollar USD, highlight, point and click, it moves to the box that says exclude. And that means that although the manager might ostensibly execute that pair, it would never be executed in your account. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit cancel because this is not my account. On an overall account basis, by clicking the pencil here, you also have the ability to set a leverage cap on the overall account. So if you deem or perhaps your fund and board of directors says don't go over 3% leverage, or as an individual investor, you don't want to go over 3% leverage, simply put that into the leverage cap box and your account would never go over that particular threshold. So advanced risk management control and the ability to add, delete, trade leaders on demand as you see appropriate. Let's talk about portfolio performance. Here again are the same performance numbers that I shared with you earlier in terms of realized gain, unrealized, total GNL. As I scroll down and I look at the monthly performance, this is the investor's month-on-month -month performance from every time that they started. A little bit of red, a lot of green. Here, under active past and closed trades, you have the ability to look at all activity for each of the trade leaders that you're following or that you followed historically. Simply hit the drawdown box, up comes each trade leader, and you would see any and all activity in terms of your change of risk management, allocated capital, or any changes that you made. As I scroll down, we show you in the spirit of transparency every single position that is executed in your account. In fact, we show you the date and time of the open, the date and time of the close, the type of position. We show you the ticker or the trade leader that you're following, and the size of the contract or the lots. We show you the pair. We show you the open price and the close price. Now you'll notice that there are parentheses. There's always going to be some slippage, sometimes positive, sometimes negative. We will show you exactly what that slippage is. We'll also show you the gain or loss of the position and confirmation that in fact that the position were followed. Now, based upon our technology, we avoid the trade leader having a very good price and a narrow spread and potentially you being affected with a price that's not quite as good and a spread that's wider. And the way in which we do that is if we can't get you close, and close is defined by the, 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 the allowable slippage per trade leader, if we cannot get to that position within the scope of that performance, we will not execute the position. And that's the good news, because everything that currency does is an attempt, or at least our way, of trying to maximize your profitability. No guarantees of anything, but everything we do in the fabric that the way the platform is built is to maximize your profitability. If we did not execute the position, instead of saying followed, it would say not followed. Let me go on to find leaders. Here you have the opportunity to view each of the currency trade leaders and what we call the trade leader, uh, trade leader board. Here you can select columns and you can see which of the risk metrics you would like to see on your trade leader board. Trade Authority Index. Trade Authority Index is our version of a sharp ratio. It's performance of risk relative to performance of performance relative to risk. The higher the score, the better the performance. The strategy, the number of clients that are following, and the minimum capital, correlation, so on and so forth. If I point and click on any trade leader, up comes a bio of the trade leader that we're looking at. As the case herein, this is Joyny Jang, a professional money manager. We're following him since 2009. You see what his targets are. To the right of that, you see exactly what his Trade Authority Index score is on the two strategies that we're following. His QM return, 70.4% on his A strategy, 582.5% on his C strategy, and you see his risk score. As I scroll down, we share with you the equity curve. Please note that you can put in any timeline, any time horizon that you would like, or you can select from the predefined time frames of 10 days or one month or three years, whatever the case may be. We have maps right here, and as indicated in the red box, which means that we're showing you performance from when he started. 
Cum return 575%. Closed trades 24.12. Win percentage 84.2. As you look at this, the purple represents the performance of the trade leader here in Joanie Jennings that we're looking at. The green indicates the client that I'm showing you their performance. And the orange represents that of the S&P here in the U.S. As I scroll down, you can see the trade leader's performance month on month since March of 2009. Remarkably, mostly 90% green. There are one or two months, as you would well expect, that it's red. And here are the components of the trade leader's risk. You can see his risk score, his max drawdown, percentage days losing, volatility, max leverage, and typical leverage. And this comparison that you're looking at, again, the purple is the trade leader. The orange is the S&P 500. Earlier, I shared with you every single position that was executed in the client's account. Here, we're sharing with you every single position that is executed by the trade leader. So you have total and complete transparency of the trade leader that you're following and the positions that are executed in your account. And this is, has been a very cursory overview of the Trade Leader Investment Program. Please keep in mind that when considering to participate in foreign currency, that certainly there are risks. Uh, you should make sure that these are well suited for you uh, and if you seem appropriate to seek the advice of a financial professional. For more information, I can always be contacted. Uh, in the U.S., my office number is 201. 266-8446, 201-266-8446, or alternatively, my cell number 917-747-1093, and I can always be reached by email, which is brian, B-R-I-A-N, dot glantz, G-L-A-N-T-Z, at currency.com. This concludes our webinar, and I want to thank everybody for joining us. Have a nice day, everybody. Goodbye.